Hello there! This is my second time going to SheHacks and the first time virtually so I'm really excited and it's starting tonight but I'm already tired even though I don't look tired or maybe I do and I have made a team like they formed teams just randomly so there's one girl from Western I think and one from Waterloo and then yeah me so the way the schedule is is it's networking from 7 to 8 p.m on Friday which is today and then there is opening ceremonies and then just random things I hope we don't code throughout the night I hope we just make an idea and then decide on what we're gonna do what prizes we want to go for and then make like a github repository and then go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and then start coding I already got some of the stickers so like this one and this one is it's from SheHacks it's so cute they always make really nice stickers, like last year they had really nice ones too. Also, I'm way too tired to sit at my desk today, so I'm just in my room, you know, with my good old baguette pillow. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna start the hackathon because I'm so tired. I already had work today, and then I did some mock interviews with a new person, so that was fun. And yeah, I'm already tired. And the hackathon hasn't even begun. <laughs> and it's also depressing that we won't get any free food, but at least we got some stickers. And we get to apply for jobs and network, I suppose that's also good. We shall see how things go. Oh, it was so nice I met this girl who finished a neuroscience degree in Vancouver and then she decided to go into computer science so she's in her first year now of computer science and then, or not computer science, like some IT program, like computing program and the second person I met was this nice woman who recently graduated from Western University in like software engineering and business and she works at Accenture I don't know how to say it, but then she works there and she's like, oh yeah, you should try competing for our prize that we have. It's like an Amazon Echo and yeah, I need to look up the prizes. Oh my goodness, I just met this girl and just like you automatically sometimes hit it off with people and she was so funny and she was trying to collect a list of what everyone answered on their application to the hackathon of like what is, if you had a superpower, what would it be? So she was asking everyone what their superpower would be, so that was so cute. And she was really funny. She studied statistics at McMaster University. Okay, so we just had our first team meeting with the three of us and we all introduced ourselves and talked about what technologies we know and we decided to make a website and then we're probably going to use the Pern stack because MongoDB, MongoDB probably won't fit in properly with what we want to build. So we want to go for four prizes <laughs> because we're crazy and we're trying to teach young girls about finances and we want to make it kind of like a game a little bit-ish about them trying to like spend money in a fake stock market like use real stock market data so then that would be nice and we also wanted to use this one api that uses bitcoins so we want to create like a fake wallet for them and actually like try to use that because i'm curious about how to use it i've never really tried using any bitcoin apis before so i wanted to do that and then yeah we're gonna start tomorrow one of the girls is gonna start the designs tonight and then she's gonna show us in the morning and then we're going to start doing like the database and the back end and try to connect to the APIs. So that's currently our plan. We'll see how it turns out.
Okay, it's 4.17. We're doing pretty well actually, like we're working together, we're using VS Code Live Share and then I'm helping like the younger girl because she's like finished her first year at Waterloo and then we're working together on one thing and the other girl is doing the front end stuff. So then we're trying to like query the database and like fetch all the data that we want and do that. So yeah, but I made her like go set up Postgres because she doesn't have it on her computer and I was like, go figure it out. So then I'm gonna go on a walk because I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, so I did my speed interview with the Bell, which is a Canadian company, and for some like IT specialist position, it was like 20 minutes of me answering behavioral questions, so that was fun, and yeah, <laughs> talking about myself. And I worked with my one of my teammates, we were pair programming on doing like buying stock, like that kind of portion of our app. I'm gonna go eat dinner and I'll come back and help with selling the stock. So that should be pretty similar. I think it's actually not a bad project that we're doing and we're actually getting somewhere. So I'm excited that we're almost there. actually done. It's 8 a.m. right now. I went to sleep. 3 a.m. I was preparing for 12 a.m. So yeah, what happened? I didn't want to film this part, but at 1 a.m. or like around that time, everything broke and then like for me and one of the girls, all we would see is like NAN on the screen, like not a number. And we're like, what that? And that one girl, it was working for her and she like commented out stuff. Yeah, so I was like, okay, fine. And I was like, how, how we go back a few commits to before, like because the last point it was working that I remember was when I committed something before I tried adding like modals because then the modals weren't working so then it was like like four commits before or something so I was like let's go back there and then let's try going through all the other commits and just adding in the stuff we need because then we did add stuff and have to remove it in the future so, so okay, let's do that she was about to give up and then I finally got it to work like adding all her features after we got it to look nice except there was just one number that didn't work like one of the numbers wasn't being calculated properly so they stayed up until four like i went to sleep around like after, a little bit after three they stayed up until four to fix that number and then apparently also filmed the video and start the dev post because you have to like write why you made this project so i'm gonna go check out that oh my god oh, i have like no hours of sleep <laughs> I submitted, oh my god, so much work. I'm so tired. Let me show you our dev post. So what's this? And then show the video first. And then different pages. I just screenshotted this. And then like how it would actually look. And then wrote our inspiration and everything. What was it built with? And we applied for four different prizes. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Okay, so an update on where we are at the hackathon. It's 4 p.m. on Sunday. We submitted our stuff at 10 a.m. But then I guess they've been judging it now. And then they decided to have like a networking event from 5 to 6 p.m. So then I'm going to go to that soon because then the more you network, the or the more times you network, then you'll be entered into a raffle to win a $150 gift card. And then after that is the closing ceremonies from 6 to 7 p.m. And what have I been doing since 10 a.m.? Well, I was just very tired. I was napping in bed. 
and then I started trying to finish season four of Boku no Hero Academia, which I finished like an hour ago. And I also went on a walk to go to the library to pick up two books that are huge. And I did not realize they're like combined. They're like 1,500 pages in total. And I have to read those in a few weeks because the library only lets you take it for a few weeks. And then, yeah, and I also just worked out. So I have to wash my hair. I did not realize that at virtual hackathons, you could feel so gross just like in a normal hackathon because normal hackathon you're just like wearing the same thing the entire time and then in a virtual hackathon that's what i was doing the same thing i'm just wearing the same clothes they're disgusting like barely any sleep like only a few i had like four hours of sleep essentially like this night and yeah i'm excited for this experience to be over soon